Hey, I'm Marcus Blake uh, here at the 2018 Dallas International Film Festival, and we are speaking with uh, Jonathan Davis uh, over the film Edge of the World. And what drew you to this project? Um, well, you know, being a uh, youth myself and you know running cross country and track, you know, I always I was always excited for it. When I did that that first audition, and you know, I kind of got kind of got to get to the emotional core. It really uh, it really sucked me in, and I, I'm so glad to be a part of it. Cool. Did you know much about the ranch uh, before this project? Um, no, I didn't. But like when I went there, you know, I, I read up on some of it. I read up on some of the, you know, the, the, especially the cross country teams. And being like, they, they let us, um, you know, eat with the boys. We played like, you know, sports, basketball outside with all the, you know, the kids, and we really got to talk to them and you know, kind of become, you know, one of the uh, one of the kids out there. And it was like, it was an amazing like kind of like, place to you know see. Right. Now. One of the central themes in the film is your deal is dealing with a crisis of faith and everything. Um, how have you experienced that personally between your career, your life? I mean, can you relate to that storyline? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. You know, um, you know, life is in, you know, life is a very bumpy road. It's not a it's a very narrow path to walk. And so we always you know wane and dip to the sides. You know, my character Jay, he's he's especially with his you know his family and his father. He's you know he's feeling very. Um, very left out by everybody he, he's around, so he, he doesn't like to, you know, attach to people. Right. So he, he, he kind of, he looks to show out to get attention. Right. And so, you know, his, his faith does wane in that way. Was there a moment from the film that kind of took your breath away that after seeing it that you, that inspired you a little bit? That took my breath away inspired. There was a scene where we're all doing a cattle ride and we're all riding horses up to a mountain. And it's the silence of the scene, kind of the ambience of the setting of, you know, Amarillo, which was gorgeous to shoot on. Right. You know, that kind of, um, that kind of made me, it, it's just that, that stillness and maybe, you know, pink. It's just a great, it's a great, great shot. You know, and I'm, I'm glad Randy, you know, got okay. that Okay. All right, we got one last question for you. You get the nerdy question here at That Nerd Show. I'm the nerd here. All I'm right, nerd. you're a nerd. Now, if you could have a superpower or some kind of weapon of choice from the nerd universe to fight the forces of evil, what would it be? You know, I've pondered this question a lot myself, you know, teleporting, but I think stopping time would kind of be the, the stopping and manipulating it, because you can't just stop it, you got to be able to manipulate it. And if I had to go weapon, so when you, uh, you, you throw me into a corner here, man. Uh, <laughs> They're hard why questions, not, why I know. Why not the Infinity Gauntlet? Why not that? You know, that's the ultimate, you know? There you go. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely great. Hopefully may the fourth lightsaber And may the fourth be with you, too. I love that you actually said that to us before we said that to you. That's it, you know? <laughs>